Hi, Andrew here for kwmwine.com. Today we're trying the Coto Real 2011 from uh, El Coto in Rioja. It's a Reserva. So El Coto, the winery first of all, established in about 1970, so it's not an old property in, in sort of old world or Spanish or Rioja terms by any means. So it's a fairly newcomer on the block uh, in that it's only sort of 40, close to 50 years old, I suppose. Um, Cote Real comes is only made in the really best years in 2011 across the board from the Rioja um, governing body if you like was regarded as an excellent vintage so from very very good it had drought in periods but they had really good sort of ripening even ripening across the, the vineyards and particularly this here this one here comes from a single vineyard, uh, Los Cuatro Viejos, I think it's called. It um, comes from 50-year-old vines. There's quite a lot of vineys in there. And the blend in this here wine is 80% Tempranillo, 10% Carignan, which is slightly unusual, and 10% Garnacha. So Tempranillo, typically Riochan, as is Garnacha. Carignan, you don't hear of it so much, but it's in there to add a little bit of, sort of complexity, I suppose. And then when they get it into the cellar, it's all sort of hand harvested, uh, treated with kid gloves, fermented over maybe a 30 day period. Um, and then it is, so that's in stainless steel and then it goes into sort of barrel oak to do its malolactic fermentation. And then after that, it spends about 20 months, I think it is, in a combination of American and French oak. And then spends a further 16 months in uh, bottle before release. So it's classed as a reserva because it only spends 20 months in oak, where if it was a grand reserva, it has to spend, I think it's 24 months or 36 months in oak, I can't quite remember. But so this is a more modern style. I've tried this against uh, the Coded Imaz, which is their grand reserva version. And the Coded Imaz is very much a classic re grand, uh, grand reserva Rioja, very much on those sort of older style woody leathery tones. This one here is a more modern uh, take on it, I suppose. Um, but color-wise, um, fairly full, medium to full weight color-wise. So this is six years old now. Nice ruby edge. Mmm, beautiful nose. You get an, you certainly get the wood off it, the new American and French oak. You get that really sort of cut wood flavor to it vanilla characters coming through. You don't really get any of that sort of coconut so much that you would often associate with Riochas. It's more on the vanilla tones, which would lead you to believe that there's probably more French oak in this. It's like freshly sawed wood, polished wood almost. And you get a sort of sweet black fruit coming through. Black currant, blackberry. Get a bit of spiciness in there as well, sort of softer spice, not so much peppery. Mm, quite a lot going on. It'll open up a lot once you put it into a carafe or a decanter or something as well, so wine that needs a bit of that. This has been open for a little while now, so. Mm. Fuller bodied, quite fine, but grippy tannins in there and sort of higher acid levels too. You get that nice juicy, slightly juicy fruit coming through onto like a leathery almost finish. You get that creaminess, almost like a, a berry compote with sort of whipped cream almost coming through. Slightly spicy. Mm. Nice grip in there. It's the sort of wine that'll sit well with sort of fine cuts of red meat. It's got plenty of time to age in bottle as well, so you'll see a bit of an improvement with it too as time goes on. You could easily keep this wine for another 10 years, no doubt, coming from the type of vintage that it is and the style that it is. But very approachable now and drinking very well now. It's the top wine, I suppose, of uh, El Coto. Only producing in really good years, but it's in a different style to sort of Grand Reserva. So it's a slightly more modern version, slightly more new world, if you want to say, uh, version of the Rioja. But really nice buy and an interesting bottle of wine if you like that style of thing. 
So not a cheap ball of wine, mid to mid to sort of higher twenties, I suppose, is where it's at. But very nice example, good effort. So there you go. That's El Codo's Coto Real uh, from 2011. Remember, kwmwine.com. Case for taste matters.